Majority of Orthodox Muslims believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, was physically raised up to heaven and that he will return during the latter days. In an attempt to justify his concocted doctrines in this regard, Dr. Zakir Naik makes several false and deceptive statements, thus explaining the reason that why God raised up Jesus, he says, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was the only messenger of Almighty God, whose follower as a whole, they mistook him that he claimed divinity. There is no other messenger whose follower as a whole, they mistook that he claimed divinity. But the Christians, most of them, they mistook that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. So that's the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up alive. Is it a true statement? Are Christians unique on this earth in attributing divinity towards their master? Absolutely not. Because we all know that most of the Hindus also attribute divinity towards their master, Krishna. Thus, Zakir Naik making Jesus an exception in this regard is totally against the facts. Then fabricating the reasoning for Jesus' second coming, Zakir Naik says, why is he going to come again? He is the only prophet which has been raised up alive. There is no other prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which has been raised up alive. Is it a true statement? Is Jesus the only one believed to be raised up to heaven alive? Absolutely not. Because the Bible tells us that the prophet Elijah was also raised up to heaven. Thus Kings 2, chapter 2, verse 11 says, And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Moreover, the Holy Quran tells us that Prophet Idris was also raised up to a high station or heaven. Thus, we read in chapter 19, verses 56 to 57, and mention Idris in the book. Surely he was a truthful man, a prophet, and we raised him high in heaven. Referring to this verse, a renowned Muslim scholar belonging to the Sunni sect says, So Kaabatullah ko utha liya jayega. Usi tarhe asmano pe rakha jayega. जैसे बैतुल मामूर को संभाल के रखा है जैसे ईसा अलैहि सलाम को रखा है जैसे इदरीस अलैहि सलाम को रखा है दस अकॉर्डिंग टू डॉक्टर ताहिर अल कादरी जीसस अलैहि सलाम इज नॉट द ओनली वन हु वाज रेज्ड अप अलाइव सम मुस्लिम स्कॉलर्स बिलीव दैट प्रॉफिट इदरीस हुज रेजिंग अप टू हेवन इज मेंशनड इन द होली कुरान चैप्टर 19 वर्स 57 इज द सेम पर्सन as Elijah or Elias mentioned in the Bible. Thus, according to these Muslim scholars, rising up of Elijah as mentioned in the Bible is also confirmed by the Holy Quran. So, in the preface of Quran translation by one of the most authentic considered scholars, Malana Ashraf Ali Thanvi, this matter is discussed as you are watching on your screen. In light of these evidences, how Zakir Naik could claim that He is the only prophet which has been raised up alive. There is no other prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which has been raised up alive. Thus Zakir Naik making Jesus unique in rising up to heaven is also absolutely false. Discussing the same issue of Jesus' rising up, Dr. Zakir Naik makes another false statement. This time he says, Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 158, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon, raised up alive. Can Zakir Naik show the word alive in Surah Nisa, verse 158? Certainly not. Thus, this is another false statement which Zakir Naik has attributed towards the Holy Quran in order to deceive the people and to make them believe in his concocted doctrines. Another false statement which Dr. Zakir Naik has made on this issue 
is about the status of Jesus السلام, on his return. He claims that this time Jesus السلام, will come without the honor and blessings of prophethood which he used to hold in the past. Thus he says And when he'll come, he will not come as a prophet. So Zakir Naik claims that this time Jesus السلام, will not be honored with the blessings of prophethood. But let's see that what Jesus السلام, himself had said in this regard. Thus quoting Jesus, God says in the Holy Quran, He said, Surely I am a servant of Allah. He has given me the book and made me a prophet. and he has made me blessed wherever i may be and he has enjoined on me prayer and alms giving so long as i remain alive so jesus alayhisalam is quoted in the holy quran saying that he has been made a prophet and a blessed one wherever he may be but zakir naik says no on his return he will no more be blessed with the status of prophethood Chapter 4 verse 69 of the Holy Quran also tells us that prophethood is a blessing of Allah of the highest degree. So according to Zakir Naik, will Jesus be sent to the earth with this blessing and honor of prophethood removed from him? In other words, will he be demoted on his return? Zakir Naik's denial of the status of prophethood for Jesus السلام, on his return is also totally against the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and the vast majority of great scholars of Islam because in a single hadith of Sahih Muslim four times Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had used the words prophet of Allah for the Jesus to come in the future in the same hadith the prophet peace be upon him has also said that Jesus alayhi salam will get revelation from God as well a vast majority of islamic scholars have also written in clear terms that Jesus alayhi salam will have the status of prophethood on his return so much so that a great scholar Allama Safarani had written that a consensus has been established among Muslims that Jesus alayhi salam will act according to Islamic sharia on his descent however he will possess the status of prophethood as well reformer of the 9th century imam jalaluddin suyuti has gone to the extent that he has written that anyone who denies the descent of jesus or denies his prophethood at the time of his descent such a person will become a disbeliever even many modern day scholars also admit that despite being a follower of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Jesus will have the status of a prophet on his return so to prove the point a short video clip is presented Hazrat Isa alaihi salam Jesus Christ peace be upon him when he will appear will he come in the capacity of a prophet or will he come as an imam if he will come as a prophet when that have an effect on the finality of the prophethood of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the reply given is the fact of the matter is that jesus christ peace and blessings upon him was a prophet is presently a prophet and in the future will also be a prophet until he remains alive in this world but he will perform all activities in accordance to the prophethood of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in accordance with his sharia so all decisions he will take not in accordance to his own sharia but according to the sharia of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will be totally bound that all verdicts he must take are exactly according to muhammadan law of jurisprudence so he will have the status of being a prophet 
but the official implementation will have to be under the prophethood of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.